Welcome back to Province Y. You're about to meet two brothers who came up with their own rescue package to restore an old factory in the town of Alton, northeast of Guelph. This is a story about Ontario heritage. The question, what price should we pay to save that part of our history? More than a century ago, the owners of this mill in the town of Alton were doing something people today are trying to figure out getting clean, renewable energy and not paying a penny for it. It's part of our heritage and our history. I mean, the, the mills were a central part of why communities like Alton existed. I mean, you go to any small town and they're almost all on rivers. And they're, they were on rivers because they're, they were centered around mills. Jordan Grant, along with his younger brother Jeremy, are developers. They own the historic Alton Mill, which a century ago was a busy textile factory and the main employer in town. Water from the Shaw Creek, part of the Credit River system, spun the turbine that powered the knitting machines. It began as a woolen knitting mill, uh, making fleece-lined long underwear, amongst other products. And we know we've seen ads of the long underwear. It was sold right across Canada. And is a fairly you know, major manufacturer, and that lasted until the 1930s, I believe. Falling on hard times during the Depression, the owners decided to try something new. The mill was converted to a rubber factory. Here are some old balloon molds they found in a shed, and they made something else of latex rubber used by Canadian servicemen during the war. So those, what you're holding in your hand, are balloon molds, and these ones here, the glass, long glass ones that look like test tubes are condom bolts. Business must have been good. They kept making rubber products until 1982, until the business closed. A few years later, their father picked up the property. It was beginning of the 90s. It was recession. Money was tight. And we looked at a gazillion uses. It was, the building was already in very rough shape. It was all boarded up. It was leaking. It was deteriorating structurally. The brothers looked at creating loft condos but couldn't get approval. The mill sits on a floodplain. There are buildings like this in villages and towns across Ontario and people scratch their heads and don't know what to do with them because they're sitting empty. Did you wonder the same thing yourself? Oh boy, we sure did. In the end, Jordan and Jeremy agreed on turning the mill into creative art studios. This room is the main floor of the new phase of the Alton Mill and what it consists of is three of our primary gallery and retail spaces. In a few weeks, this reclaimed space will be rented out to area artists. Throughout the project, they tried to use original and recycled materials. As much as possible, uh, when we've needed new lumber, we actually have purchased reclaimed lumber. And a lot of that reclaimed lumber is visible throughout the building. For example, a lot of the headers up here and on the demising walls, um, for example, over here, all of that is reclaimed, so even though it may not have been from this building, it's certainly another example of recycling. In the first phase of the building, artists are already at work. Janet Simmons-Sweet moved in recently. I've been painting off and on for 30 years, and about the last five years is when I started going back to it. We got the studio in June. I have done more paintings in the period of time from June until now than I have ever done in all the years I was painting. It's absolutely inspiring to be here. Down the hall, Jim Stewart is known for his diverse work, bold, bright, abstract paintings and detailed illustrations. If you can take a, an aesthetically beautiful building like this and move it on to the next generation, then you're, you're doing a real service for everybody. Well, I think it's very bold and uh, they've put a lot of their own money into it, so they've taken a risk with it and I admire them for that. But that risk wasn't cheap. The Grant brothers have sunk over three million dollars of their own money into restoring this building. So, was it worth the effort? Jeremy asks this question. How important is heritage? And heritage is not just bricks and mortar. Heritage includes the human historical a record of, of living and breathing and working and families growing and all of the other human elements that come with heritage. But the brothers were able to get some federal and provincial grants, $1.7 million, because the mill is a heritage property. Which just helped to bridge the gap between the high cost of restoration and the kind of income you can expect from, uh, from renting it as commercial use. 
And Jason adds they got their grant money just in time. Unfortunately, that uh, CHIPIF program, as it's referred to, was cancelled by the Harper government as soon as they got in power. And so far, they haven't replaced it with any other incentive fund. But with old, empty factories like this in communities across the country, is it worth using taxpayers' money to help bring them back to life? Jason says we need to look past the dollars and cents. Buildings like this have got tremendous social and historic value that may not quite equate to the, to the economic value. And um, so bridge, you know, sort of gap funding is, is pretty important in order to preserve these kind of buildings. These artists will be charged between $500 to $2,000 a month, depending on how much floor space they use. The grants say they hope to see a return on their investment once the second phase opens. It will include a cafe and conference area. But what about the slowing economy? We're confident we can weather the storm. It certainly will affect how much people can afford and how much income the artists will have. And Jeremy believes if people can't afford to go away on vacation, they'll be looking at day trips instead. And Alton is in the center of, of a very large market uh, consisting of the GTA and Kitchener, Waterloo, Guelph, Cambridge, and even going north towards Barrie. So we're hoping and in some way uh, anticipating that day trip tourism will be a primary market for this, uh, for the Alton Mill. By finding something new to make and sell in here, these brothers have breathed new life into this old building. They even have plans to one day get off the grid and fire up the turbine, tapping into free water power like they did a hundred years ago, bringing them full circle to restoring the Alton Mill. Now, if you want to learn more, you can go to this website. It's altonmill.ca. You can get more information on the location and hours of operation.